Hello everyone. So in yesterday's class, we learned discovery of neutron. Now today, we will see some properties of neutron. Okay. So first property, as yesterday we have discussed, it is uncharged particle and that's why there is no effect of electric or magnetic field on neutrons that is what first property so i am writing here like this it is uncharged particle uncharged particle and no effect of electric field and magnetic field i am writing in short form that is ef and mf electric field means ef and magnetic field means mf okay next property it has high penetrating power but low ionizing power so it has high penetrating power whereas low ionizing power this is another property next one if it is inside nucleus it is stable but outside nucleus it is not stable that's why in control chain reaction immediately neutrons will get absorbed and reaction will be continuous that we will learn ahead okay so what is that third property it is stable inside nucleus stable inside nucleus unstable outside the nucleus unstable outside the nucleus next now what is average life period so average life period is about thousand seconds next one next property or before going ahead i will give one reaction which will indicate how it vanishes or we can say converts so this is neutron and this will convert into proton electron and one anti neutrino this is what anti neutrino anti particle Okay. Next one. Speed of neutron can be slowed down by passing them through heavy water by passing them through heavy water
from a paraffin wax. Yesterday we did this, no? Yes. Graphite ETC. Next point. Neutrons are diffracted by crystals. If you want to diffract them, neutrons are diffracted by crystals. And last point, which already we have learned, that is mass of neutron, hey na? Yes, so I'm writing only MN. Mass of neutron is how much? 1.67 5 0 or 4 8 if you want because before i wrote 5 0 actually 1.67 4 8 so by rounding off 1.6750 into 10 to the power minus 27 kg which is equal to 1.00866 atomic mass in it u only atomic mass unit this is nearly equal to zero got it so these are the properties of neutron note down yes finished okay let's move ahead our next topic that is classification of nuclei okay classification of nuclei in this we will learn isotopes isobars isotones isomers isodiaphors got it so how to differentiate them that is what we are going to learn in this with the definition right so let's start first one is isotopes first one that is isotopes how you can define them in one line i'm writing like this same atomic number same atomic number that is z hey na? same atomic number atomic number divided by z but different mass number but different mass number that is a for example let's see some examples now hydrogen isotopes we will see first one hydrogen isotopes you see here one one next is one this is two and this is one and three now see here this is what z z value is going to be same but here a value is different this is called isotopes got it this is nothing but proton this is deuterium this is tritium or you can say hydrogen then this is deuterium and tritium these are the isotopes of hydrogen we can see next one next example let's see oxygen or oxygen isotopes we can say oxygen this is 8 16 next one is 17 same atomic number and again oxygen 18 8 you see here also z is same and a is different that's why 
these are the isotopes of oxygen understand next one second one that is isobars what are the isobars okay so let's see what are the isobars now it is reverse of isotopes in definition we can say so what will come here now same mass number different atomic number okay so same mass number same mass number is a and or but you can use but different atomic number but different atomic number and it is denoted by z in one line how you can say about isotopes same z different a here same a different z got it so let's see one example for this also now this is hydrogen that is tritium hydrogen isotope and helium isotope can you see here this is same a but different z this is my first example like okay. and one more example we will see second one that is carbon and nitrogen and nitrogen 14 7 so this is carbon isotope and this is what isobars now why because one minute wait this is not nitrogen here actually here i wrote this is six not seven okay right okay so this is six and uh, here it is nitrogen 14 7 right now it is okay because it should be what same which one atomic mass number and this should be different so that's why six seven okay understood so if this you write down carbon and nitrogen this is carbon isotope next one let's move ahead next one is what third one that is isotones what is that isotones nuclei having same number of neutrons in one line what is that nuclei having same number of neutrons are called as isotones same number of neutrons for example Example number one I am taking that is tritium and alpha particle or helium we can see. So you see here number of neutrons means what ray A minus Z. A minus Z is equal to what 3 minus 1. How much you are getting? 2. Similarly, if suppose we will see for this helium atom here also a minus z is equal to how much 4 minus 2 that is also 2 so same number of neutrons got it this is for helium this is uh, this is for trit uh, tritium we can say tritium and this is for helium now can you see so that's why we can we call it as an isotones yes 
and second example nitrogen 17 7 and oxygen 18 8 17 minus 7 we are getting 10 here 18 minus 8 10 so that's why again here also a minus z is equal to 10 in both cases that's why these are the isotones yes understood note down this okay let's move ahead now next one that is isomers isomers this is fourth one isomers now here same atomic mass number same atomic mass number that is a comma same atomic number that is z but different radioactive properties okay still see there are some elements who is having same a and same z but they are showing different nuclear or radioactive properties then that elements or nuclei are called as isomers but different radioactive properties different radioactive properties for example m bromine m stands for metastable okay metastable bromine in chemistry you know this metastable means what so that is i am writing here metastable bromine metastable bromine and next one is ground state bromine Although they are having same A and Z, they are showing different radioactive properties. This is ground state. What is this? Ground state bromine. What is this? Ground state bromine. Next one. That is isodiaphors. Fifth one isodiaphors different a different z but with same excess number of neutrons over protons different a different z now i am writing in short so that it will be easy for you to keep it in mind also different a different z different a different z but with same excess but with same excess number of neutrons
over protons. That is in bracket A minus 2Z will be same. For example, sodium This is 2311 and aluminium 2713. So now see here in this case and in this case also. Here you see A minus 2Z for aluminium, A minus 2Z is equal to 23 minus 2 into 11. So how much it is? 1. Number of neutrons is equal to how much? 1. In this case you see A minus 2Z for this aluminium. A is how much here? 27. Minus 2 into 13. For next product you can keep. So this is equal to how much? 27 minus this is 26. So again you are getting 1. So you see although they are having different A, different Z, but same excess number of neutrons. Hey na? Same excess number of neutrons. And that's why we are calling it as a isodiaphors. Okay. What is that? Isodiaphors. Right? You see here now, in this I have denoted atomic mass unit U. What is this atomic mass unit? Let's see. But before that, you note down this first. Okay, note down. Okay, let's move ahead. Now, what is atomic? They are they will ask you particularly question what is atomic mass in it? So you should be able to define atomic mass unit. What is this? How you can define this? And in bracket, it is nothing but A M U. Okay, what is this? A M U. Or you are sometimes noted by just U. Okay. So, how you can uh, define this? So, see. It is nothing but one twelfth, one twelve part of one twelve part of the mass of carbon the mass of carbon isotope that is this carbon. C612 isotope. 112 part of the mass of carbon atom is nothing but what? Atomic mass unit. If anyone asks you what is AMU, then you should be able to tell this. Why 112 part only? Because, because mass of mass of C612 is exact is exact 12 amu okay that's why 112 if we will take we will get 1 amu right so see here so therefore 1 amu is equal to or 1 u also 1 by 12 of mass of carbon atom 
mass of carbon atom and this is equal to 1 by 12 into into 12 by n which is equal to 1 by n gram 1 by 12 into 12 by n gram and where n is what Avogadro's number substitute the value 1 by 6.023 into 10 to the power of 23 this is in gram so this is equal to 1.660565 into 10 to the power minus 24 gram now this is in gram if we want to convert into kg just multiply with 10 power minus 3 so what we are getting 1.660565 into 10 to the power minus 27 kg is what one atomic mass unit value understand okay clear this is what your one atomic mass unit value it is nearly equal to mass of proton 1.66 into the power minus 27 got it so note down Okay, so let's stop here for today. Bye.